Hey guys, what's up? It's Brogan Gage here for the Red Carpet Report. Today I am on set of General Hospital where they are celebrating their 13,000th episode. 13,000, that's insane. There's obviously a lot of beautiful people walking around right now, so I'm going to see who I can get to sit down right in this chair next to me and chat a little bit. How are you doing today? 13,000 episodes, that is insane. And I shot all 13,000. How do you do it? You look so great. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's uh, aloe vera and All natural, you know, correct? oils and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's amazing. 13,000 episodes, a little over 50 years. It's been fun. My experience being here for the three and a half uh, seasons that I've been here so far, it's been incredible. And how, do you, how, has you, how has it been like watching your character grow throughout those se three seasons? Well, it's fun for me because in the three and a half seasons, almost four seasons I've been on here, um, I've been involved with a lot, I mean, right. going from being a stranger to building new relationships, have to build their trust and, and love, romance, breakups, being a guardian, a surprise, here's a kid, <laughs> uh, getting back into my uh, old ways of what I do, you know, being the mercenary, and so it's been interesting. And you play a little bit of a badass, if I can say that. Yep. Um, what is it like playing that character? And are you kind of responsible for like keeping this hospital running? In my opinion, uh, <laughs> yeah. keeping it busy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping, keeping the clients in it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's always good because, you know, you know, being the bad boy, you could be sexy and heroic, or you could be scolded. Right. But it's always going to be a good story. Right, and all the girls love the bad boys, so. Oh, make note. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I know that you did, you started out doing theater, so do you, how do you feel that that's helped you with filming soap operas, which are so one take Yeah, soap operas, soap operas very fast. You know, we shoot between one, uh, one and, and um, three, one and a half and three episodes a day. And with theater, you know, once you're on stage, you're on stage, you can't start over. So it helps you really just staying present, you know, and I think it, that really teaches you about commitment. When I tell all new actors, you know, you really want to work on your craft. If you're not in the class, you need, you need to be in theater because it, it really forces you to be honest in the moment and staying there. And what is the, what's the record number of episodes that you've shot in one day? Oh, uh, we just, uh, one, no, three. Three. Yeah, because they don't go over three. That's insane. Three yeah. episodes in one day. You go home and just... So, yeah, your brain is worn out. And <laughs> I think the most scenes I've shot was 24 or 25 scenes all back to back. That is... And a lot of dialogue. Uh, yeah, I would have to imagine so. so. your brain is... You see, hey, what's that smoke? You just see the smoke coming up. <laughs> right. It's a lot. I know that you... I read that you paint. You're an artist, yes. so is that how you go home? Do you unwind doing that, or is that something you try to find in your free time if you have any of that? Yeah, <laughs> it's not a lot of free time. Uh, I think you just have to find whatever brings you peace. I mean, I, I'm into the arts. I'm big on my music. Uh, I love, um, I'm, my first gift is painter. I've shown in different galleries all over, and um, again, my music, and relax, just being around good people, and just taking a break and stepping away from everything. So you're yeah. very multi-talented. Well, you yes. do it all. No, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I, I try to be it because I'm really, I, I really love the arts. You know, um, at one point, okay, I've never told anybody this in any interview this ever. This is exclusive. I don't know if I want to no, say No, come on, come on. <laughs> because I said I love the arts. My life has been a whirlwind, but I used to think that I wanted to be a professional, uh, like, hip-hop dancer. Really? Because I was really good. Really? What's yes. your signature dance move on the floor? I don't have one. It was just you just go with the music? <laughs> mm -hmm. I was, yeah, I was really, I used to really think a debate. Really? Yeah, yeah. So did We're you? We're not going to talk about okay, that anymore. No, <laughs> no I, you know what, that's enough. <laughs> I, just, I, got, I, I, got some, I got something out of you, I'm going to go with that. So yeah. is that, how do you, how do you, because you've got, you're in shape, you're very mm -hmm. in shape. I just started working out, I got my gym membership today. Very so good. what is your workout regimen like? Oh, uh, well, you know, on certain days you do certain things. Right. You hit the dance floor ever, or is that just... No. No. 
I don't do that type of dancing anymore. I'm just two step side to side. <laughs> keep it very simple. Right, <laughs> right. But uh, but I love the arts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, dance, music. Uh, my wife, she's an ex Avenelli dancer. Wow. And, and it's a, but no, she she doesn't do concert anymore. She does um, uh, more modern. You know, she's choreographed and danced for everybody from Jay Z to Beyonce. And That's well, amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Well, congratulations. Thank I you. hope you get 13,000 more episodes. Yeah. I would put you at 26,000, and I'm sure you'll still look just as great. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> if you like the video, click like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The 13,000th episode is scheduled to air on February 24th, so make sure to check it out. I'm Brogan Gage. Thanks for watching.